hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can build out a python application uh, this is, this will be a twinter application basically here we will be showing you how to convert your mp4 video into mp3 audio file so let me run this python script that i developed right here and uh, if i want to run this i will simply say python mp4 underscore mp3 converter dot py so now if i launch this application guys so this uh, basically it's a desktop application and this application will run here and you will see there are this control out there we can basically select our video file i can go to my videos and uh, you can select mp4 mkv any sort of file you can select so let me select this file and there is a button out there and as you click this button guys so what you will notice in the command line moviepy will basically run this process you will see basically the video will process and it will convert into mp4 you can see video converted to audio audio saved successfully so now you can see that the audio file is saved and now if i want to basically show you the audio if i play this audio you will see that uh, hello guys today in this tutorial we will be using the same library that we talked about in the images so now background remove so you can see the audio is successfully extracted and basically it is saved inside the local directory here you can see that we can even carry out another here you can simply select a another video file i can go to my videos folder once again let me put this file here again use the same command just click the button and then it will carry out the process and now as it, it, it is done you will see a dialog box will be there so now you can see that uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be introducing to a new so basically guys we will be uh, building this uh, twinter desktop application using the moviepy and ffmpg library in this tutorial so if you're watching it for the very first time please hit that like button this channel is all about programming so if you want this source code guys i have given in the description of the video as well you can purchase it if you have still doubts about this video so let me write this python script from scratch so you need these two modules uh, only this module you will need guys which is moviepy pip install moviepy this is basically the module that we will need guys i have already installed this and after this guys what we need to do is that we just need to basically import all these modules so we will simply say from to enter we need to import everything and then from the to enter we need to import it as like this and then from to enter we need to import the file dialog module as well to show a pop up window to the user and also guys we also need to import the message box library as mbox and uh, after this guys what we need to do we also need the pillow library guys from that we just need the image and the image tk library and then we will import the movie pie and uh, we will also import the movie pie dot editor library and we will also import the operating system module so after this guys what we need to do we just need to initialize a new twinter app like this we will give basically the title to the window which is mp4 to mp3 converter after giving the title we will basically give the geometry the width and the height this will be 1000 width followed by 720 height and uh, now to basically start this application we will simply run this main loop function so this will start this application so it is saying that okay just need to eliminate this 
so now your application will launch guys you will see this uh, title which is mp4 to mp3 converter now we need to basically add the widgets so first widget will be the top label guys so this label will be there this will be a simple label which will be shown on the screen so well, now if I launch this is basically ping text here mp4 to mp3 converter so we are just placing this on the screen and 130 and 20 and now guys we will have basically the image so I have this image folder inside the local directory so basically I will show this image as a background image so now if I reload this application you will see basically it is saying path is not defined okay I think we do need to basically define the path here early on so just put the path so we have this images folder guys so it has various images so we are using these images so the link is given in the description you can see that so after this guys after setting the background we will simply now define a button first of all we will have a select list so when you press that button you can see here we will basically have a select button so whenever you click this button guys this button a pop-up window should appear basically this is a label actually and then we basically have a text area so here we will basically have a text area so here basically now you will see a text area right here so here we will display the path of the file automatically whenever you select the file this path will be automatically placed inside this text area now we do need to basically have the button guys where basically we will allow the user to choose the file from their operating system so this is the code here and now if I refresh this basically now we will have this button so it is saying mp4 choose is not defined let me just see just wait okay we do need to basically now write this function guys so basically whenever we are clicking this button we are executing this function so now we do need to basically write this function so functions in python are declared with this def keyword and uh, we can define the function like this so here we will def def declare a file name variable guys and we will say file dialog dot ask open file this is a very basic code guys where the file will be selected from the operating system and then it will be displayed inside the text area so I will just see here just wait so what I will do basically I will paste this code here this is we are basically asking the user here if I run this now we have this select if I select you will see this pop-up window will appear and we can basically select our file so this path you can see this path will be there and now after doing this guys what we need to do is that so as you can see guys after this we also need to have a convert button this convert button will be there so let me just paste this code right here so all the code is given in the description guys let me summarize the code here basically we also have this convert button as well so whenever we click this convert button we are executing this function which is convert so here inside this convert function guys we are using the moviepy library editor method and inside this we are calling the video file clip method and we are passing the file name and then we are extracting only the audio and then we are saving it inside the as a mp3 file so 
now if I launch this application so whenever you select your video file and go to inside your and select click convert and now you can see the process will take place and once it's completed it will show a dialog box that audio file saved successfully inside the same directory you will see that uh, hello friends today so this is basically the application guys we have developed the link is given if you want to purchase the full source code with the directory structure all the settings will be there so you can go to the description and purchase full the source code and thank you very much for watching this video